The act of a cat dragging her bottom across the floor is called scooting. While this behavior occurs more among dogs, it does happen to cats now and then. In this video, we look at three common reasons why cats scoot, and what to do about it. A common cause of scooting is diarrhea, a result of irritation or inflammation of the stomach or intestines. When bits of poop get stuck under the cat's tail, she'll try to clean the rear by dragging it across the floor. So, if you notice feces stuck to your cat's behind, gently clean the area using a warm wet cloth. Diarrhea can also be confirmed by the presence of loose watery stools in the litter box. Often, these episodes will clear up on their own within 24 to 48 hours. Otherwise, you can feed your cat a bland and easily digestible diet like rice and cooked whitefish. On the other hand, scooting can also be caused by constipation, which comes from a lack of water in the gut, and too much indigestible stuff. Examples of indigestible matter are the corn fillers found in poor quality cat kibble. Dry cat food is an offshoot of dog food, and dogs, not being obligate carnivores like cats, can digest carbs. Constipation in cats can be resolved with wet food, or by encouraging your cat to drink more water. Diarrhea has several causes, and in acute cases, this condition is a result of an infected digestive tract. We're talking about intestinal parasites, namely tapeworms, which breed in flea-infested places. In such an environment, the stage is set when a cat grooms and ingests fleas, carrying worm larvae. Once inside the digestive system, the larvae incubate, mature, and finally take hold. If left untreated, tapeworms can cause intestinal inflammation and secondary health issues. Apart from diarrhea or constipation, your cat might be frequently hungry due to the parasite leaching off nutrients meant for her. Fortunately, treatment for tapeworm is easy and effective if you take your cat to the vet. The vet will prescribe a medication called a dewormer, which can be taken orally or through injection. To learn how to rid your house of a flea infestation, watch our video. Three steps to get rid of dog fleas in your home. Although made for dog owners, the steps in the video can also apply to households with cats. All cats have anal sacs that release their liquid content whenever a cat defecates. This is a way cats mark their territory and make their presence known to animals. While this function no longer applies to sterilized indoor cats, there's no harm in leaving them alone. However, when the sacs get clogged, they are considered impacted. That means the sacs don't express or empty when your cat goes to the potty. As a result, the area becomes irritated, potentially causing your cat to scoot. In severe cases, the sacs can become infected, which is even more painful. When scooting is paired with abnormal behavior, the cat might be suffering from an anal gland infection. Examples include vocalizing, excessive licking of the anal area, and even defecating outside the litter box. This is where it pays for caregivers to be familiar with the normal baseline behavior of their cat, so anything unusual can be a red flag of an underlying condition. When this happens, a vet will need to express the excess fluid and flush out any solidified material. Do note that this procedure can be unnerving for the cat, and she may have to be sedated first. For infected glands, antibiotics will be administered orally to the cat to kill the bacteria. When your cat scoots, take a quick visual check to see if there's something stuck in the butt. In most cases, it's a one-time issue that resolves on its own. However, if the behavior persists, bring your cat to the vet to treat any underlying issue. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.